Hello, thank you for joining me. I just wanted to, um, I'm going to do a quick demonstration on how to paint a thistle. I'm using a number seven sable watercolour brush and I've got some opera rose. And the first thing I'm going to do is make a nice big shape and I'm just going to use an action, just a tapping action like this. I'll flick it up slightly actually because I want to make sure that I've got this really nice spiky shape they want to suggest a thistle so I'm just pulling towards the centre flicking out so I get a nice really spiky top just picking up some more colour trying to do this fairly big so that you can see it and I'm just fanning out the shape so I can get it the, the thistle shape that I'm after just probably going to flick out that slightly to get it the way I want it just to pull down into the centre. Yeah, fairly happy with that. I'm just going to flick one or two. I'm just getting my brush and I'm, um, I'm flicking with my brush. I'm just wiping a little bit of colour just to make sure it's nice and broken. And now at the base of the um, thistle, it looks almost black, but I'm not going to do that. I'm sort of going to make it a more of a purple colour. And it's, so I'm going to press down and pull around and I'm leaving a little bit of a gap at the moment until I'm happy with the shape that I've got. And then when, I, when I'm happy with the shape that I've got, I will join it together. Just rinsing out my brush, and I'm just going to flick that up so the two can meet. Yeah, I'm happy with that now. Lovely. It's so lovely and dark. And then what I want to do is I'm just going to, I don't know, scribble and flick a little bit because it's it's quite, um, there's lots of obviously broken uh, textures that we can see on the thistle head. Like that. So I get this a really lovely shape. Oh, look at the beautiful way it's running down, that's great, it's just what I after. Now I'm going to pick up a lovely bright yellow and green, so let's put the two together. So a really lovely bright colour for the base. So that it starts to run down the way that we want. And now we need to change the colour. The stem actually looks like a real plum colour. So what I've done is I'm now going to pull this and then with my finger just pull it down. Pick up a nice, um, it's Windsor Green yellow, uh, yellow shade. I'm um, just mixing up a little bit of yellow to it to make sure it's really bright and then I'm just pressing with my brush and then flicking out and then there you go there is my suggestion of a thistle